Thank you. Had a couple technical issues earlier, so we do want to return to our earlier story about warming centers in Indianapolis. They're helping to keep hundreds of Hoosiers safe during this dangerous Arctic air. Here's our Matthew Fultz. Here at the Wheeler Mission Center for Women and Children, they're helping families stay warm in many ways. Some of the ways they're prepared this winter is by having overflow floor mats that families can sleep on. And some women I spoke with say they're just thankful and grateful. It's an amazing facility. You go by the rules, you stay warm in bed. And I'm thankful. Stephanie Wagner is staying here at the center. She spent the last two days off the streets, a place she says she normally would be. On the sidewalk, freezing, trying to keep myself warm. Wagner comes without a place to call home. If you haven't experienced it, you can't imagine. Now making the most of her time here to get back on her feet. Eat, shower, and I'm thankful. It's literally life and death to be outside uh, in this type of weather. Brian Crispin with Wheeler Mission says right now their shelters are in winter contingency mode, helping any and everyone who may need to keep warm this winter or a hot meal. Last night we probably had close to a thousand people who stayed in all of our facilities. That's our men's shelter, our women's shelter. We also have a shelter in Bloomington. Meanwhile, Indy Parks is also helping folks stay warm with over a dozen shelters across the metro. On Sunday, they had to close their Brookside Park location due to power loss and no heat. In the meantime, Hoosiers like Wagner are just grateful for a place to get back on her feet, one step at a time. One second at a time, but that's what it takes. But um, move forward, head up and smile. Now, leaders with Wheeler Mission tell me their winter contingency mode will be run through March. Of course, if you need help finding a shelter near you this winter, we have all the information right now on our website at WTHR.com. Reporting in India, I'm Matthew Foltz, 13 News.